Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 18.6.2 to the public. iOS 18.6.2 is available around the world at the same time for everyone on all iOS 18 supported devices. Now, if you're not seeing the update, you can find it by going down to your settings, going down to general, and then going to software update. If you're still not seeing it, go ahead and swipe back, then go back to software update and you should see it there. However, if you're on iOS 26 betas, you won't see the update as you're on a newer version. If you wanted to downgrade to the public version, you would need to use a Windows or Mac computer to do that. Now this came in at a fairly small 738.2 megabytes on my iPhone 16 Pro Max, was about the same size on other devices it released for, and along with this Apple also released many other updates. iPadOS 18.6.2, iPadOS 17.7.10, macOS 15.6.1, macOS 14.7.8, and macOS 13.7.8. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go back to our settings, then we go to general, then about. As you can see, the build number is 22G100. And this particular build does not have a modem update. So if you're installing this from iOS 18.6 or 18.6.1, you won't see any modem update. So the overall connectivity will most likely be about the same, but it was pretty good with 18.6 overall. Now this particular update is not really a feature update. That's going to be mostly with iOS 26, but this is rather an important security update. You can see here where it says this update provides important security fixes and is recommended for all users. Now, the only other thing I noticed that's a little bit new that I didn't point out in 18.6.1 is if we go into settings and under about, you've got learn more. This sometimes shows up in different versions, but it's nice to see it. I just wish there was more notes here. But as far as security updates, well, let's go ahead and take a look at that. And there's a couple of other updates to talk about as well. So if we go to Apple's security release website and then scroll down, you'll see iOS 18.6.2 and iPadOS 18.6.2, along with the other releases today, even supporting older devices here. But if we go into this, go down, you'll see there's one major security update for image IO and you'll see what it's available for, for all iOS 18 supported devices. And the impact is it's processing a malicious image file may result in memory corruption. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited in an extremely sophisticated attack against specific targeted individuals to fix this an out of bounds, right issue was addressed with improved bounds checking. So that's the major update in this update. It was a big enough deal that Apple felt the need to release this. So that's something I thought I'd share with you. As far as other features I wanted to mention, well, yesterday Apple released a new feature, depending on where you live for Apple wallet. If we go into Apple wallet, and if you were to go to add driver's license and ID cards, you'll now see the option for Montana. So if you live in the state of Montana, you now have the option to add your digital ID here and just carry it with you like a license. So this is available to those in Montana and the other states here. However, if it's not available in your country or state, your country or state local government needs to work with Apple to implement this. This isn't waiting on Apple. The local government needs to actually work with them, manage a lot of it, and then get it added. So that's why you're not seeing it if you don't have it available in your state, like I don't either. Now, another thing I wanted to mention has to do with iOS 26 and AirPods beta firmware updates. Apple released a new one yesterday, bringing it to version 8A343A. So I wanted to share that with you. I updated it on this device. So you'll see if I open it up here, we'll go back. Now it's connected and it seemed to fix quite a few issues I've had already sort of glitching on the screen I was experiencing. And if we go into this scroll to the bottom, the way you can tell you're updated is with the latest version 8A343A. a And if we go into it, you can see the case version also matches for me. So the same thing is here. Now, one thing I've noticed in particular with this is it stays connected. It connects much faster than it was with the previous beta and also is working like you would expect, not disconnecting like it was quite a bit for me. So that's something improved. Of course, this isn't available to the public just yet, but it has been improved already. As far as iOS 18.6.2 and other issues, well, as far as bugs and bug fixes, the notification stutter that may have been there seems like it's fixed. So if we go back in, you'll see I don't have any no notifications, but it seems to be very fast. As far as the wallpaper dimming bug, well, that's definitely here. You can see that on this vibrant wallpaper and you can see it change just by swiping the notifications home. This is actually fixed on iOS 26. So if we go here, you'll see as I swipe home, 
it stays the same. So it's great to see that. I'm glad they fixed it. I just wish they would have on iOS 18, but maybe they had to rewrite some significant part of the code to get that to work. As far as any additional things, there's no additional release notes or anything like that. And when it comes to performance, well, this is going to mostly be the same as iOS 18.6.1 and iOS 18.6. Very refined, very minimal updates as far as that goes, but going into things such as the camera is super fast, just opening that up, going into things such as the app library scrolling, you'll see ProMotion is fluid and fast. And of course it took almost a year to get everything right with iOS 18.6 where things were running super fluidly. So you'll see going into things such as music, nice and fast, and as far as anything else, well, overall heat is very, very good. So far, it's a little bit warm as it's going to process in the background typically for a couple days. But let me show you that with the thermal camera and we'll just compare it to iOS 26 sitting here idle doing nothing as well. So it should be a little bit warmer since it's updating, but not much. So iOS 26 beta 7 just sitting at idle is around 30 degrees Celsius or right at 30 degrees Celsius. iOS 18.6.2 is at around 32 degrees Celsius. So very, very similar, especially since this is updating in the background, it's staying fairly cool overall. Of course, it will change a little bit over the next few days. And of course, we'll talk about that in the weekend follow-up video. As far as overall battery life, well, let's go ahead and take a look. Now it does take a few days to measure that. So we'll talk about that in the weekend follow-up. But if we go into battery, battery health, this is not my main device, but you'll see 100% capacity with 19 cycles. If we take a look at my main device running iOS 26 beta seven, currently we're at 95% capacity with 301 cycles. Well, with in the range of where it should be, typically a thousand cycles will get you around 80% of your capacity left. So that's what Apple says in ideal conditions. So doing pretty well there. However, I haven't used this as my main device, but thanks to Cameron and Condor for sending in their battery life. Let's take a look. And you'll see here on an iPhone 16 pro max with 100% capacity, they had four hours and 10 minutes of screen active time two hours and 21 minutes of screen idle time, and they have over 60% left. So that's pretty good overall using maybe 25 to 30% of their battery. So very, very good battery. And that's on iOS 18.6.1. So again, we'll talk about this in the weekend follow-up, see how it's been for most people and if anything's changed. But if you're wondering if you should install iOS 18.6.2, I would highly recommend it as it's got a critical security update in it. And maybe there's some bug fixes, even though they haven't mentioned it. Sometimes they do throw some in there to fix some things in the background. As far as the next releases, well, it's possible we could see one more update before iOS 26 with iOS 18.7. So we know Apple's working on iOS or Mac OS 15.7 rather. So we could see iOS 18.7, but there's no hints of that just yet, but we could see that within the next couple of weeks. As far as iOS 26, I would expect iOS 26 beta eight, or maybe the release candidate as soon as Monday or Tuesday of next week. And then of course we could see the Apple event invites go out that same week for an iPhone 17 event, probably taking place around the eighth. If that's what happens, we can see the eighth. As far as that goes, we'll have probably iPhone 17 pre-orders on the 12th with most likely iOS 26 releasing on the 15th or 16th, and then a release of the iPhone 17 on the 19th. So it's going to be a very busy few weeks, at least for now with iOS 26 and all of the other releases. Now, as far as benchmarks, I did run them. Let's go ahead and run them again and see what we get. Benchmarks just completed, and you can see we have 3,492 for single core, 8,551 for multi-core. While we have had higher scores than this in the past, it's well within the margin of error. It may increase a little bit after things are done processing in the background, and we'll check that in the weekend follow-up. Now, as far as overall storage, let's go ahead and take a look at that. As typically when you install an update, it overwrites the old one. Well, let's see what it's taking up compared to iOS 26. So if we scroll down here, it's taking up 18.66 gigabytes compared to 19.81 gigabytes of iOS 26. So 6.28 for Apple intelligence, 12.39 for iOS in general, and then 18.66 total. So overall pretty good, definitely taking up about the same as it was in the prior update as well.
So that's everything with iOS 18.6.2. It's a major security update I would recommend. And of course, all of the major features will be coming with iOS 26. Let me know what you're looking most forward to from Apple in the near future in the comments below. And of course, I'd love to hear from you what you think about this dark background compared to the white background I typically have. Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.